hi friends how are you all doing i hope you're all doing fine welcome back to my channel thank you so much for coming back here if you are a returning subscriber god bless you i really appreciate you much but if you're new here hello welcome to my channel please before you leave remember to subscribe and when you subscribe click on that notification bell it is down there so that you'll be the first one to be notified whenever i upload a new video i promise you you will always enjoy every content that i upload so dear friends in our today's video i am super super excited because it's gonna be a story time today's video is going to be a very beautiful unique full of surprises, <laughs> full of Afro cinema, online dating success love story of a Tanzanian lady, my own homegirl, <laughs> by the name of Love. She found love on online dating apps with an Italian man. Guys, what is more interesting about today's love story, it's because Love stayed six good years on online dating apps and then found the one. I know guys, some of you who have been on online dating apps for so long, whenever you watch these success stories that I share here on my channel and say a lady stayed two months on online dating apps, found the one, stayed two weeks on online dating apps, then found the one, then you who have been on online dating apps, let's say for two years, three years, five years some of you <laughs> be like hmm maybe i'll never find the one because how come some ladies stay a very short period of time and then find the one so i think i don't have luck and i'll never find a white man especially you who are interested in interracial dating then you'll be like i'm going to delete all dating apps <laughs> so guys with this story it's gonna inspire you a lot you shouldn't give up guys you still have a chance to find the one no matter how long you have been on online dating apps but guys a journey of six years on online dating apps is not an easy one so we have got a lot a lot of things to learn from this love story so guys before i start telling you the story i have a disclaimer please do not judge this lady in today's video because <laughs> guys i know youtube has got lots of judges <laughs> yeah so let's not judge her because when you judge guys people get scared to share their love stories <laughs> and we want to hear these love stories we want to hear their stories even if it is not a success story <laughs> so that we can learn so that it can help us in our journey to find love so let us let people be let us respect people's choices because there is always a reason to why a lady or a man decides to date a certain kind of a race it is not all about being a racist some people have got very bad bad experiences in their relationship in their love life and it reaches a point someone is like no i am done with this kind of a race i want to try a different kind of a race and see what will happen but like i have always said a man is a man no matter the color what you should be careful about what you should observe is how that man behaves what kind of a man he is is he really the man you ever wanted to marry is he the man you ever dreamed of <laughs> that is all that matters but still we should respect people's choices okay dear friends <laughs> so guys grab a glass of wine a glass of water some popcorns anything to keep you company as for me here i told you i am very very excited so i have a glass of champagne we're gonna be sipping it with you guys <laughs> and let's jump into the video so guys, like I said, today's love story was supposed to be an update of the story that I did a year ago, but because I didn't share lots of information, 
in that love story so today's story is gonna be a detailed one and you all know when i tell you a detailed story and you know it's gonna be lit so that takes us to start a fresh no love's past love relationship experience how did she come to know about dating apps why did she join dating apps what was her journey on online dating apps in those six years so let's begin <laughs> friends loveness's story starts way back then when she was still very little and tells us is coming from a single mother family yes she has got a dad but it's the mother that grew her up and her two siblings so friends growing up saw how her mother struggled suffered a lot to take care of them to make sure that they are okay they go to school if you are a single mother you will understand very very well what loveness is trying to tell us so she witnessed all what her mother went through as a single mother and was like when i grow up i don't want to get married to a black man tells us she really hated black men but again guys it's not that all black men are bad no it's because of her life experience and that is why she said that to make everything clear guys she later on forgave the father so they are in good terms with the father as i am making this video so it was loveness's childhood dream to get married to a white man then one day went to visit her cousin sister who was married to a white man so as she was at her cousin's place saw how the husband helped the cousin with house chores and with kids so she was like oh my god this is why i was saying that i am going to marry a white man when i grow up because seeing a black man <laughs> helping with house chores mm, they are very very few who do that majority don't do it even me i can give you an example growing up i could hear stories people saying that that man is so stupid that man the wife has turned him into a woman in swahili they say mumebweg <laughs> Like when a husband does everything for a wife, then they're like, no, the wife has stood him on the head. <laughs> so it's the wife that is trying to behave like a husband and then the husband has become a woman. Doing house chores is a woman's job. <laughs> so that is why Loveness was like, wow, I want this kind of a husband, a husband who will help me with house chores, with kids, you know, such kind of life. So her desires to want a white man as a husband increased. <laughs> so time went by and then Loveness grew up, went to the university. So at the university, you know, peer group. <laughs> I'm telling you, peer group can make you do things that you have never imagined to do. So she tells us due to peer pressure, she could see her friends dating and at the university, there was no even a single white man. Remember her dream is to get married to a white man. So due to peer pressure, decided to also look for a boyfriend. So she got a boyfriend for herself, <laughs> a black man. Then they started dating. Everything went very, very well. But on her side, after some time, felt like she was cheating on this man. Not like cheating with other guys, no. Deep inside her heart, felt like I am cheating this guy because it's not what I want. For me, I want to date a white man. Even if I continue the relationship with this guy, it won't go anywhere because <laughs> i won't even marry him i want to get married to a white man so eventually told the guy you know what i am so sorry but we should end this relationship the boyfriend was really surprised of why she called off the relationship because everything was going well but deep inside her heart knew that it was the right thing to do that's why guys i've been telling you that if something doesn't make you happy then do not go for it but if you want something and you know that thing will make you happy go for it 
fight for it and you will get it trust me with determination you will achieve it so after ending that relationship she remained single then finished the university started working at work could see her workmates dating and she was at that age that you know it's normal to date but still did not date anyone because she was still looking for a white man in real life <laughs> so her colleagues could be like why are you not dating what is wrong with you <laughs> she could tell them you know what guys i want to get married to a white man they could laugh at her thinking that she is joking but she was very very serious that wanted a white man so guys now to how loveness came to know about the dating apps so friends loveness had this good friend of hers and it was during the weekend she went to visit so while at her place saw the friend chatting with a white man on the phone <laughs> so ask the friend how did you get to know that white man that you are chatting to the friend laughed and was like it's not only this white man i have many white men that i'm chatting to but why are you asking <laughs> And you know, as ladies, we always share, we always talk, especially if we are good friends. <laughs> so Loveless told her that it's my dream to get married to a white man. I am looking for a white man, but I don't know where to find him. So eventually the friend shared with her where she got those white men. It was from the dating apps and even shared some of the dating apps for her to try but told her please please don't share this information with anyone yet even with your friends because at first i shared information with my friends that i am chatting to men on online dating apps and they discourage me so much so i am telling you do not do the same mistake that i did for sharing the information that you are on online dating apps searching people are so scared especially when it comes to online dating we all know the crazy things that happens on online dating apps but it's very very sad that especially in our african society people don't look at the positive side of on online dating apps they only concentrate on the negative side of an online dating apps so when you tell someone i am on online dating apps they're like no 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 don't do it some of them will even call you a prostitute <laughs> or tell you scary scary things about on online dating apps if you really want to succeed on your online dating journey you should keep it a secret once you find someone who is really really serious then you can tell them <laughs> i found him on online dating apps so that is why the friend told her not to share the news she had good reasons so guys i have good good news for you i am going to be sharing with you guys the success love story of loveness's friend that friend that told her about on online dating apps found an american guy she's married her love story is very very beautiful so guys just stick here <laughs> and wait for that here friends that was 2014 loveness took the names of those dating apps and then started her journey of searching for a white man so friends she started her online dating journey but we should remember that she was new to online dating world didn't know what could happen on online dating apps so when she started her journey started chatting with lots of men from all over the world tells us one of the funniest moments on online dating apps one day was chatting with a guy everything was going super good went to an extent of exchanging skype names so after exchanging skype names they decided to skype you know do a video call and this guy video called her she responded but to her surprise found this guy busy you know <laughs> doing himself on camera she was so so surprised i was like what <laughs> 
you can imagine her shock guys so kept on searching and searching then came another guy this guy chatted with her he was so sweet then told her that i want to send you money please give me your bank account that tells us she was very very clever never shared her bank details with this guy but if she shared then she could have lost all her money in her bank account i told you guys when you chat with a man on online dating apps then starts bringing money talks better run run for your life oh <laughs> after that scammer she kept on searching guys and you know when you try one dating app you keep on discovering new dating apps as days goes so loveness wasn't using only the dating apps that the friend recommended to her no she discovered more dating apps and kept on trying tells us she tried 10 dating apps in her journey to find the one and i'm going to be mentioning the names of those dating apps so that maybe you can give it a try who knows you might find the one but the app where she found the one i will share it before i end this video so dating app number one that she tried through her journey to find the one was truly african then afro romance then international cupid tinder but on tinder got scammed 20 euros that is 45,000 Tanzanian shillings but it's not tinder that scammed her no she got scammed by the man she met on tinder other dating apps she tried were instagram dating accounts you know those pages on instagram that talks of interracial dating they've got dating sites so she tried that she tried a bonasho dating app and paid 20 euros that is 45,000 tanzanian shillings lost that too because never found anyone <laughs> tried cdff i told you guys cdff is a hundred free i've shared this app with you before so you can try it especially you guys who are interested in christian men so guys the last dating app this is when you should sit well and listen to me carefully this dating app i've got lots of complaints from ladies complaining about this dating app and unfortunately guys they've got like five dating apps being operated by the same same company so the name of the dating app is called dating.com lots of ladies have lost money on dating.com and loveness told us she lost more than a thousand dollars on dating.com how it operates they've got very attractive adverts <laughs> with good looking men so of course when you see an advert you have to click on it and then they tell you to join joining is free so after joining that is when you start receiving countless messages from cute guys but guys not normal messages very romantic messages very convincing messages <laughs> something that is very hard to find on the site like afro introduction international cupid you know you can't get those cute messages romantic messages from cute guys <laughs> so when you see those messages click on it yes you can read them and when you want to respond that is when they tell you please pay <laughs> you have to pay so that you can chat with that cute guy <laughs> one time guys i did a research i registered and then i could get a hundred messages a day <laughs> from these cute guys telling me have you ever traveled to the bahamas on the cruise ship <laughs> oh my god i could laugh the whole day reading their cute messages if you fall in their trap and then you pay oh my goodness you are finished they don't have a fixed amount that you pay this monthly and that's it no guys you will pay let's say 60 dollars 
and then when you start chatting with these guys of course you'll get millions and millions of messages men calling you sending you letters so when you open the letter they tell you you have used these credits so as you chat as you open letters as you talk on a video call you spend money so in the end sixty dollars won't be enough so for you to keep on chatting with this cute guy that is chatting with you you will keep on paying and that's why by the end of the day you will find that you have lost a thousand dollars another thing is these guys don't want to move out like chat outside dating.com they will tell you we should keep on chatting here <laughs> because they're making money guys it's all about business so be very careful about that i've told you that paying for a dating app doesn't mean that you will find the one use free version use free dating apps and you'll find the one because even loveness at the end of the day after spending all that money on online dating apps found love by using a free version of a dating app so she found the man for free <laughs> to help you out guys you know i always want you to stay on that safer side i'm going to be writing out those dating apps that i've told you they assist the company of dating.com be very careful about them because two days ago i talked to a nigerian girl who had paid in one of those dating apps so she came to me to ask if i know about that dating app but unfortunately it was too late because she had paid already but i told her to delete her account there so i don't want you to be a victim so let's continue with loveness's story those are the dating apps that she tried before she found the one so guys i told you she started her journey 2014 so when it reached 2017 she got this new dating app i told you you keep on discovering new dating apps so she came to find out about that dating app and decided to join it so after joining that new dating app and that is where she found the one but she did not find the one that 2017 no <laughs> the struggle was still going on so guys her journey to search for the love of her life continued every day she could keep on searching and searching if you are on online dating apps i think you understand me i remember one day i was on the premiere premiering a video then there is this funny lady <laughs> my subscriber she was like bella you can swipe and swipe and swipe till the fingers gets hot <laughs> so that is what a loveness was going through but never gave up so continued that 2017 2017 passed 2018 passed 2019 passed 2020 june she was like no i am tired i am done with online dating apps maybe it is not god's plan for me to find a white man on online dating apps maybe i should just wait <laughs> offline <laughs> god will bring the one but me keeping on trying no i have done enough and i can understand her guys six years searching is not an easy journey at all so 2020 june she was in her late 20s at the time when she was like i am done 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 so what she decided to do did not delete the dating apps no no even if she was tired even if she was like i am done 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 <laughs> What she decided to do, logged out on all dating apps that she was using. So when she logged out on all those dating apps, passed some time but wasn't receiving any emails from any man and then told herself, I think, today I am going to delete all of them and that was July 2020. Then that same same day received a message from this italian guy so when she saw the message was like should i respond or i should just go ahead with my plan and delete the dating apps because <laughs> he might be one of those players but something else told her just respond and that is when she responded to this italian guy 
guys they started chatting with this italian guy his name is emmy that was july 2020 when he sent the first message the message was really nice introducing himself telling her that i am looking for something very serious they kept on knowing each other and amy told loveless that he was in his mid 40s so wanted someone to marry settle down with and start a family loveless tells us he really looked genuine and different from all men that she has ever chatted with on online dating apps guys when the one comes you will know it i've been telling you guys <laughs> so they kept on chatting and the relationship growing stronger and stronger every day so friends they kept on chatting for a while and then afro cinema <laughs> begins amy started changing showing less interested wasn't writing to loveness like he used to do then loveless was like maybe this guy is one of those guys that wants to play games with ladies on online dating apps so what i'm gonna do she is smart decided to ignore him too and that was a wake-up call guys <laughs> started looking for loveless writing to her all the time asking her what happened you seem less interested <laughs> then loveless told him it's you who started for me i think maybe you're not interested in me maybe you don't like me so i have decided you know to give you the space so amy was like i am really really interested in you but you know i am such an ugly man <laughs> and i look at you you are such a beautiful lady how can a very beautiful lady like you be interested in me, <laughs> an ugly man? How can a beautiful lady like you be still single on online dating apps searching? Then Loveness assured him that she is single, she is seriously looking for someone to settle down with and also interested in Amy. Then from there guys, things really got so serious about their relationship so guys before i continue with the story there is this question that i've been getting a lot on my instagram account ladies asking me bella i am chatting to a guy but he does not speak english what can i do should i leave him should i block him so from loveless's story you're going to get an answer amy never spoke english all this while they were using google translator so i asked loveness to give you guys an advice you who received a message from a guy who doesn't speak english what should you do so she tells you that if a guy loves you will learn english for you no matter what language is not a problem there is google translator so you can use google translator to communicate another advantage of chatting with a guy who doesn't speak english you get to see the real him you get to see him till the heart because sometimes when you communicate you use signs so that you can understand each other and that makes your love very very stronger so she tells you language shouldn't be a problem but i'm also so proud of her because i've been with her through all this journey i am going to tell you how but when i was chatting with her she could tell me one or two words in italian meaning she was learning italian too so with language when you love each other you can both make efforts to know each other's languages so the relationship continued they kept on communicating and 2020 november that is when amy decided to introduce loveness to the mother i told you italian men are so close to their mothers <laughs> yeah so when he introduces you to the mother you know that you mean so much to him so he did an introduction amy's mother was so happy yes there was language barrier but amy's mother showed her love even if it was on a video call she could feel that amy's mother really likes her and i remember she told me this word it's in italian that amy's mother told her joya mia <laughs> this is the word that used by italian parents to their loved 
loved daughters to their loved sons like my adorable you know joy <laughs> yeah that was so so good and you know it feels really really good when you find yourself in a family that is good and likes you so guys the introduction went very very well and immediately after the introduction amy told loveness that he loves her so so much and would want to spend the rest of his life with her so guys after loveness was sure that amy is the one decided also to introduce him to her mother loveness and her mother are best friends and this mother is a modern mother because talked to amy and was so so happy about their relationship supported them and went away to see amy physically in tanzania so the introduction to on loveless's side went really really good so they kept on communicating and now they are girlfriend and boyfriend officially so amy as they were communicating told loveless that i am not rich and i don't like to be asked money <laughs> i know if you have been on online dating apps you have came across a man like amy who says that i am not rich i don't want any woman to ask me money but you are going to laugh a lot as you continue to listen to this story till the end about this whole money thing <laughs> After saying that to Loveness, Loveness was like, okay, don't worry, I'm not someone who would even ask you money. But I have a request too. I am not ready to share my goodies till marriage. <laughs> if you're okay with it, we can continue with our relationship. <laughs> and also, I wish or I dream to get married in front of my grandparents. So those were her requests. And after telling Amy that, he said, okay, I have heard you. Give me time to think about it. So you who is watching this video, can you write me in the comment section below? <laughs> what do you think? What was Amy's response after thinking about what Loveness asked him of waiting till marriage? <laughs> Friends, as you write in the comment section below, what was his response after thinking about it? Let us sip some champagne. So guys, to his response. Amy responded that it's okay, I can wait till marriage. As long as I'm going to get married to you, there is no problem. But about getting married, let us see how things go. It could be good also if we get married in Italy. So guys, that November 2020, that is when I came to know Loveness. She found me on YouTube, watched a video of how we met, liked it so much. She told me, Bella, I have watched that video 10 times. <laughs> it really inspired me. So she had to write me on Instagram and then told me I am dating an Italian man. I would like you to guide me, give me some advices concerning my relationship because I'm still on the journey. So I was like, no problem, any question you can ask me. Guys, from that November, I've been like a big sister to loveness. I've stood by her side in every state. So guys, that November 2020, Amy surprised loveness. He sent her a promise ring. I remember very, very well. She took a video for me when that promise ring arrived. She was very, very excited, very, very happy, but again, asked me what I think. I told her that's really good, and the experience I have dating an Italian man, they are very jealousy, and when they date a woman, you know, you are his. So he sent you that promise ring, girl, to keep you like you are mine now no one should touch you <laughs> so guys we talked i congratulated her and i gave her some tips and freaks to spice up her relationship with amy <laughs> because it's a long distance relationship spicing up is a must otherwise you will end halfway so she thanked me and that day ended so to you all ladies that have been like i won't wait till marriage 
and then due to what you're going through on online dating apps you meet these crazy men who ask you for nude photos who tell you that you have to stay naked and then we talk on a video call you get discouraged and be like i will never find any man that will wait till marriage so loveness tells you it is very possible you only need to be committed stand for what you believe and pray for it so that you succeed guys back to the story after the promise ring they kept on with their relationship and now they started talking of meeting so their plan of meeting was amy should go to tanzania to meet loveness and then after loveness will go to italy then they get married in italy so guys i know you would like to know if amy was spoiling loveness in their long distance relationship the answer is yes he was spoiling loveness in their long distance relationship but before we go to the spoiling part it is good for you to know that loveness is an independent woman she has got her job which was paying her very very well she has got her two houses that she built with her own money oh my god because a lady in her late 20s she's already with two houses oh my god girl i salute you <laughs> despite that she was financially okay amy used to spoil her send her money for the rent so when she was like he could send me money for the rent i was like girl rent for what you have two houses she was like yes the city where i was living is not where those houses are <laughs> yeah so he could send money for the rent and even when it was their birthdays he could always send gifts so with this i want to talk to you dear beautiful ladies no matter how financially stable you are i know you want to look independent but please please let this man be a man let this man show you responsibility <laughs> you see guys when a man is in love he will do anything for you and agnes never asked all these things but he was being responsible <laughs> I told you guys when you are on online dating apps you chat with a guy he sends you money he sends you gifts everything that you ask him if this guy does not talk about meeting you know that that relationship is not real yes he's just fantasizing and he's taking you as his online girlfriend so amy talked about meeting that means this man is serious <laughs> so they planned and amy took leave from work those days that he was supposed to travel be in tanzania but unfortunately at that time there was covid restrictions no one was supposed to travel outside italy they were very very down about the news both amy and loveless i remember loveless writing to me be like i think maybe it's not god's plan i meet with amy i told her girl it's not time to give up you have been through a lot amy is a good guy i think what you need to do is to be strong because when you show amy that you are weak he's gonna get even more weaker yeah so you have to make him strong give him encouraging words and assure him that you can wait for him no matter how long it takes that way your relationship will continue but if you start being like oh i am so tired i can't wait anymore maybe it's not gonna happen i want to give up then a man will give up and you will lose him you know how it took you long to find this genuine man so in the end she was like thank you so much my sister i am going to keep on being strong and i'm going to keep on encouraging amy so guys their relationship continued they kept on encouraging each other but remember amy took leave from work so those days passed and amy didn't have any other leave so change of plans <laughs> loveless was supposed to be the one to come to italy see amy's life see amy's family spend some good time with amy and the family you know 
getting to know each other then after that she will return to tanzania amy will go to tanzania and they will get married in tanzania if you remember her wish to get married in front of her grandparents so that is what they agreed on so guys they kept on waiting for the borders to be opened but loveless could call the italian embassy in tanzania to ask the progress are the borders open or not yet so when she called they told her that they will open march 2022 friends as loveness waiting for the borders to be opened let us talk about this i asked her this question how did you know that amy was the one what made you believe him she told me bella amy was very very open from the beginning of our relationship everything he could do he could let me know his daily activities when he could go out with friends he could be like i am with my friends take photos with family i am with my family and send the photos to her he could also take photos or call her i am at home so he was very very transparent with loveness loveness did the same so we should take a tip from here when a man is very transparent with you take him serious you know that he really wants something serious with you so dear friends February 2022, that is when Lavne started preparing for her trip to come to Italy to meet Amy. So she started the visa process. And that's when I really got busy because I had to stand by her side as a big sister, show her the way, tell her the needed documents. Guys, we could communicate every single day. <laughs> she could ask me on everything. I could draft things guys <laughs> and send them to her so that she can take it as an example i gave her tips and tricks to pass her visa interview but not only me guys because it reached a point whereby i had to involve my husband because amy wanted also guidance <laughs> on the visa process so my husband could talk to amy and i kept on talking to loveness the day for the interview came and thank god loveness was granted her visa to come to italy so guys you have been asking me this question so i had to ask loveness the exact question <laughs> so that you can get some answers yeah so i was like loveness weren't you scared when amy invited you to italy because it was the first time to travel and he is a stranger, a guy that you only met on online dating apps. What did your mother think of you leaving Tanzania, go to Italy, meet a man that you have never met? She was like, no, my mother was not scared at all because she grew me up to be a strong woman. She knows there is nothing that I cannot handle. Oh my God. Thank you, mom. <laughs> She's really tough. She's such a tough girl. So about her being scared, she was like, no, Bella, I was not scared at all because I had learned to trust in Amy. I'm telling you, if a guy is not giving you doubts, a guy is very transparent with you, that is when you create trust. So Loveness and Amy had created trust and that is why Loveness wasn't scared to leave Tanzania, go visit Amy. But guys, another thing that I think it was so clever of her tells us she started saving money when she joined on online dating apps and was waiting for that day to come so even if anything happened to her in italy she had enough money in her bank account to take a small vacation in italy and then return to tanzania peacefully <laughs> wow <laughs> that is really good i think we should learn from her never travel outside your country go visit a man without any money by yourself because if anything happens what are you going to do <laughs> but if you have some money with yourself it will help you maybe make a call maybe take a train you know so let's learn from this so she got her visa and the day to travel came she was very very excited couldn't stop thanking god i remember i told her send me the photos when you are at the airport coming she did guys she sent me some clips 
and in those clips she was like thank you god thank you god thank you god i'll try to see if i can get those clips and put them here for you guys see how she was very very excited and grateful to god for that day to come she waited for it six good years actually loveness arrived at the airport and amy was there waiting for her when he saw her was so so happy they hugged and kissed it was the best moment guys for them so guys from the airport they went to amy's home so guys after arriving at amy's house amy's mother was there was so happy to see loveness very very much guys <laughs> i told you she liked her even by talking with her on the video call so that day she was extremely happy to see her and you know guys with my help you can never go wrong so loveness went with some gifts for amy and for the mother they were really really happy for that so guys night came and i know you guys are waiting for the goodies <laughs> you think the emotions will betray them will they will they <laughs> no guys no 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 amy left his room for loveness and went to sleep to another room wow what a man so guys loveness tells us her stay in italy was the best she was treated like a queen her mother-in-law could do everything for her then amy could also do all things for her she was just supposed to sit and be served when time to take a bath came she could find a bathtub prepared with petals oh my god it was really the best so Amy took her to visit the best places in Italy and she enjoyed a lot. If you remember guys, I showed you that she brought some gifts for me too. <laughs> I even showed you on camera if you remember. If you're my real real fan, you can remember that. Yeah, that's loveness. <laughs> she also made a video call with me i talked to her then talked to amy and also my husband talked to her then talked to amy they were like thank you so much for your help and we were like we are happy for you guys that you are together because that is what we wished for you guys she came on a tourist visa and her stay was only 30 days so when the days were over she told me bella i have to wake up in this dream <laughs> i'm going back to the reality you know because here she was treated like a queen <laughs> amy paid for everything and even gave her money back to tanzania he is such a good guy so guys after returning to tanzania they started planning for their wedding which was supposed to be October 29 this year. So guys, October 2022, Amy went to Tanzania for the first time for marriage. And after arriving, he paid for the bride price. You know, it's our culture. <laughs> yeah. And if a man really loves you, he's going to respect your culture. So he paid for the bride price. The family was happy. They did a party for him. You know, it was good, good vibes. <laughs> so on 23rd October, they had planned a lunch date with Amy's siblings. They went to this restaurant. It's called Karambezi. It's at Seacliff. If you are a Tanzanian, you know. After taking lunch, they started taking some photos because the views there are really, really beautiful ocean views. So as they were taking photos, so she stood and wanted to take a photo alone. You know, as girls. <laughs> so she was looking to the ocean and then when she turned like this, found Amy on his knees. <laughs> Proposed guys, popped the question. She was so happy because it was a surprise. For her, she was contented by a promise ring. He proposed with an engagement ring and it was the best moment. So guys, parties started. And for us in Tanzania, we have two parties before the wedding party <laughs> or the wedding day. We have kitchen party, which is only for women, the friends of the mother, only ladies, guys. And back in the days, the kitchen party was for elders to teach a lady that is going to get married 
how to behave in marriage, how to handle a man in bed, such kind of things. But these days they don't do that anymore because <laughs> people have experience. <laughs> what do you have to teach? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so right now it is only they give you gifts, kitchenware gifts. So they did a kitchen party and then when the kitchen party passed, they did a send-off party for the parents to send off her. Go to your husband. <laughs> it went so good. She looked so, so pretty. I'll put a photo here so that you can see it. And then the wedding day, which was on 29th of October. So wedding bells. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> yeah, it arrived and they prepared. She really looked so beautiful. Had two wedding dresses. One was to go to church and another one was after the church. I will show you the photos here so that you see how she looked so gorgeous. Congratulations, girl. So Loveness tells us when the time to take the vows came, she started crying a lot because everything that she has ever prayed for happened so it was tears of joy to thank god to achieve her dream she wanted to marry a white man god brought him wanted to get married in front of her grandparents because they couldn't travel due to their age and it happened so she was crying all along oh my god it was such a very wonderful moment so they said their I do's, wedded, everyone was happy, and above all, <laughs> Loveness's mother. You know our mothers, when we get married, oh my God, they are super, super happy because they always dream for us to find a man to love us the way we deserve. So it was party time with friends and relatives. It went very, very good. Now, honeymoon. So now we are going to be talking about the goodies. <laughs> Cause she said she wants to wait till marriage. So they have wedded, it's time to give the goodies. <laughs> uh, proceed by the way guys, it's a surprise. <laughs> Can you guess? Can you guess that surprise? <laughs> so guys, she shared her goodies. I want to go so much into details, okay? <laughs> she shared her goodies, but the surprise is Loveness never shared her goodies with any man. So it was her first time sharing the goodies. Amy was the first man or is the first man in her life amy was so happy after finding out it was a very big surprise for amy but made him so so happy he was so so proud to be the first man in her life oh my god i can imagine the feeling guys and i also told loveness that i think amy will treasure you forever she was like yes yes that's true honeymoon went very very well and after the honeymoon amy had to return to italy because he has to go to work but december this year loveness is coming to italy to join their husband that is the beautiful online dating success love story the big question which kind of the dating app they met on they met on afro introductions i've been telling you guys these afro introductions is one of the best dating apps because we can see even from the numbers of the success stories that i have shared guys to her advice to all beautiful ladies that are still searching for love on online dating apps her advice number one is never give up no matter what keep pushing till you achieve it advice number two is give everything to god nothing beats prayers Keep praying to God, you are going to succeed because he is there watching you, he is there guiding you, and he will bring that right man to you. Congratulations to both of you, Loveness and Amy. Let's wish them luck in their marriage, guys. Cheers. Be blessed all for watching this video till now. If you have liked it, give it a thumbs up. Share it with your friends, family, everyone that you think will enjoy this video and learn something. Watch my other videos too. They are super good. Comment below what you think about this video. Please subscribe if you have not subscribed. Until next time, I love you so much, guys. You're always here in my heart. Ciao, ciao.